more than a month since uh, we got the Huawei P40 Pro and uh, in fact we posted a video about it here on this side you can go check it out where we talked about the applications that we've been using on uh, this smartphone now we're going to be talking about uh, something else it's uh, the Huawei P40 Pro Plus in ceramic white so sit back relax and enjoy this video but before we get into the details, let me first quickly unbox the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. This is the box, but this is not the retail unit. Kailangan ko pang ibalik ito right after we unbox and review. Uh, but I will tell you what you would normally find inside the box. Um, may mga kulang lang dito. I've already pre-unboxed it as you can see. Uh, inside the box, you get yourself the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. This, in my case, is the ceramic white version. Diba? Ang ganda. At uh, inside as well, there's a smaller box that contains the SIM ejector tool and manual and warranties. But since this is not a retail unit, wala siya dito. Wala rin siya, kas wala rin siya kasama na silicon case. This is uh, the silicon case for the P40 Pro. It will not fit on the P40 Pro Plus. So I will be talking about that later on. We have also the uh, Huawei Supercharge 40 watts inside the box. Tapos meron din tayo na data and the charging cable in type C and type A ends with an earphone with a type C uh, cord. Alright? That's actually everything inside the box of uh, the P40 Pro Plus. It's very possible that the Huawei will uh, include several pre-order bonuses once uh, they announce it pretty soon. But there you have it. That's everything inside the box of the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. If you think that Huawei P40 Pro is insane, wait until you see all the smartphone features that the Huawei P40 Pro Plus offers. In today's video, we'll talk about how powerful it is, uh, what's the hype about its 5G compatibility, it's a super awesome set of camera, and a lot more. Performance-wise, Huawei P40 Pro Plus is just as fast as the Huawei P40 Pro. It has the same 7 nanometer plus Kirin 990 5G and 8GB of RAM. Uh, you can either have 256GB or 512GB of internal storage. Uh, at the time of the production of this video, we do not know if they'll be bringing both uh, storage variants in the Philippines, but that's something we will be updating later on. One thing is for certain though, uh, for dads like me, na may mga anak na naglalaro ng Minecraft or Roblox, expect them to go to you and borrow your phone. So please, get yourself a robust uh, case if possible, immediately. Now, if there's one thing I would like to stress about its chipset, would be its uh, 5G capability, which should empower users when using IoT products, high-speed download and upload, streaming media content, and compatibility with any 5G configurations in the Philippines. Now, as you can see in the video right now, the Huawei P40 Pro and the Huawei P40 Pro Plus have the same size. The uh, camera cutout is much bigger as well on the uh, Huawei P40 Pro Plus. So, if you wish to fit your P40 Pro case in the P40 Pro Plus, it will definitely not fit. Uh, the uh, case would bulge and it will not fully protect the camera cut out of the P40 Pro Plus. Sabi nga nila, wag mong ipilit ang uh, hindi sakto at uh, swak dahil mahihirapan nila. Now what we have is the ceramic variant of uh, the P40 Pro Plus. Uh, when it was launched a few uh, months ago, this is actually the colorway that I've been really wishing to see personally. The polishing is really nice and the fingerprints and smudges aren't too noticeable. I think that my only problem now is that how I'm going to use this during the duration of my review because this does not come with the case at least for me because this is not a retail unit. So dapat hindi to makita ng anak ko kasi pag nakita na naman niya to for sure sabihin niya ooh wow knowing him he would do that. Now enough with how it looks let's now focus our attention to why some of you will actually be buying this device and that would be it's a super awesome set of cameras. Now, if there's anything different or beefed up in this smartphone, then it would be its set of cameras. Now, I've displayed this for you guys, for you to see. Now, with all the specifications you're seeing right now, you know for a fact that this smartphone is really made for content creation in mind. The main camera still uses RYYB color filter array. And as I always pointed out, this brings out better color depth and uh, contrast in your photos. 
The main 50 megapixel camera, which has one by 1.28 inch custom camera sensor, allows you to take better looking photos in a color filter that is almost exclusive to Huawei. With Leica Optics on board, you know that this device means serious business when it comes to photography. The phone also has two telephoto lens, one equivalent to 240mm and another one equivalent to 80mm. Note that these telephoto lens have uh, omnidirectional PDAF and OIS, which should uh, help users take zoom photos with really good quality even without using a tripod. What you're going to see right now would be sample photos we took using Huawei P40 Pro Plus versus Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Here's a photo using the ultra wide angle in comparison with uh, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. And here's another sample photo with 100 times zoom on the Huawei P40 Pro Plus versus the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Now how about P40 Pro Plus and the Oppo Find X2 Pro? Here's a sample photo using the ultra wide angle using the Huawei P40 Pro Plus versus the Oppo Find X2 Pro. Now here's another one with the 60 times zoom on the P40 Pro Plus and a 60 times zoom using the Oppo Find X2 Pro. We will definitely have more sample photos when we publish our full review on our website at gadgetfilipinas.net. Now you also get a 32 megapixel front facing camera with a depth sensor. The uh, front camera has an aperture of f2.2 and autofocus. And yes, also reverse charging is back in this device. This is not entirely new, but this is proven to be very helpful and effective if you wish to charge your device by simply placing it just above the back portion of the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. Now, if you flip the situation over, you will be able to charge this up to 40 watts of wireless charging. And if you compare this with the P40 Pro, this only supports up to 27 uh, watts wireless charging. Lastly, we have App Gallery, which is a growing marketplace for Huawei devices. I know some of you would say, oh, this one does not have Google Play Store. This should not be an issue because uh, App Gallery has a good number or good amount of uh, applications available. And if you can't find them on App Gallery, there's an app called AppGo, which basically tells you where you can download the app you're looking for. As usual, Google services like Gmail and YouTube may still be accessed using Huawei Mail or the browser of your choice. So there you have it guys, this is the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. At the time of the production of this video, Huawei hasn't shared the uh, retail price of this smartphone but we will definitely update it in the description box below once we got the official price from them. Now for anything about Huawei P40 Pro Plus, tune in to our channel. Please uh, do keep in mind that we have a subscribe button right there. We would appreciate if you can do that. And also a notification bell. You can also click that so that you are notified each time we have a video. And before I forget, I am reminding everyone to uh, join our giveaway for the month of June. We're giving away a PLDT prepaid Wi-Fi. Details of which on how you can join is in the description down below. Again, this has been Gian of Gadget Pilipinas. Catch you guys in the next video.